<laughs> What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me again this week. Have you ever got really excited about some new SQL Server feature only to find out that maybe it was too restrictive. That definitely happened to me when in memory OLTP came out. I was really excited to use it and I was still on like 2012. And so I kind of forgot about it until a few weeks ago when I saw a great presentation from Aaron Stilato at my local SQL Server user group. And so after seeing that presentation, I was kind of like, huh, I wonder if I could use this now. So in this episode, we're just gonna take a look at taking an old ETL process and converting it to using the new in-memory OLTP features and seeing what kind of performance boost we get. Spoiler alert, it's a pretty big performance boost. So here's my scenario. I'm using an ETL to load documents into a staging table in a staging database. For my purposes, I'm gonna call this table old stage one. And it's gonna use a stored procedure that's just gonna insert various amounts of data depending how much I pass in as a parameter. My database is using simple recovery, um, so we're gonna get some bulk operations going. It should be as fast as it can, you know, without using a memory OLTP. After I load three documents worth of data, which are a total of about 10 million rows, I'm gonna delete one document worth of data, right? Um, that middle document with ID of two. Um, there's a clustered index on that table that I'm loading. Now for the competitor, right, using the in-memory OLTP features, I'm gonna be using a natively compiled stored procedure. It's gonna do the same type of insert with the uh, main differences being, obviously the stored procedure is natively compiled. That means SQL Server doesn't need to compile it at runtime, but my delete's a little different. In my old store procedure where I'm kind of doing my deletes in million row transactions because I don't want to fill up my transaction log, um, with the natively compiled delete store procedure that I'm going to be uh, running, it's just doing a delete without any kind of special looping. And the reason for that is, is I set up my new staging table uh, to have basically schema only uh, durability. And what that schema only durability means is basically if the server crashes while this data is in memory, it's gone forever. Obviously, you don't want to do that if you can't recreate that data, but since this is a staging ETL, it's pretty easy for me to always recreate the data. And the benefit of using that schema only durability is that we're not going to have any rights to the transaction log, so hopefully we'll have some really good performance. Hooray! Right, so I'm gonna first run the stored procedure, the old stored procedure, inserting into the old traditional table. So if I execute that stored procedure three times and fast forward a little bit, it takes 65 seconds for all those rows to insert. Now remember, that's with simple recovery, it's a bulk insert, that's as fast as we can basically get. For the next step is to delete that document with ID of two. You might be saying, Bert, why would you delete the data you just inserted? Well, obviously I'm skipping a few parts of my ETL that aren't related to these in-memory OLTP features, right? I would obviously process that document first before deleting it from staging. So if I run that query, we, uh, we wait a little bit here again. Doing some air drumming. And we see it takes about 46 seconds. So, um, you know, pretty slow. It's got to find all that data and delete it from the clustered index. And let's see how the in-memory features work. Once again, we're using our natively compiled stored procedure, um, which doesn't have to compile at runtime. It's not that huge of a difference in this scenario since we're, we're inserting the, the you know millions of rows at a time with a bulk insert inside that stored procedure, right? It's not like we're running 10 million individual transactions, but there's still the performance benefit there because we will not be writing to the transaction log. If we run this, we'll see that it basically takes just a few seconds. And so I got, when I was running this earlier, I got five seconds, five, six seconds to insert those 10 million records. That's way faster than the traditional way of doing it. And now what about our delete step? I just basically click execute and it deletes all of those records instantly. So in this scenario where I'm doing all these inserts and then deleting the data, there's a huge performance benefit of using the in-memory SQL Server features. Besides using in-memory for staging data, it's also really good for sessionized data if you're working with websites, and it also works really well for high volume transactions. So there's still a bunch of restrictions with in-memory OLTP, 
but it's not as restrictive as it used to be in SQL Server 2014. If you kind of, you know, wrote it off back then because you couldn't use it, I highly recommend revisiting it. And that's it for me this week. Thank you again for watching. If you aren't already subscribed, please press that subscribe button. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks.